tomorrow war, more like the tomorrow bore. <laughs> Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for The Tomorrow War, the new Chris Pratt movie uh, on Amazon Video. This movie was originally supposed to come out in the theaters, but Paramount kind of saw a sinking ship, so they sold it to Amazon for $200 million, and once again, Amazon Video has a, a movie with some potential completely frickin' shit the bed. It has some unique ideas, I will grant you that. It's an original idea, I will also grant you that. Uh, but then it kind of stops there. It feels like the script was written like in the early 90s, late 80s in terms of the oddity and the cheesiness of this script. Chris Pratt is a former Navy SEAL or special ops guy who's trying to make it as a high school teacher. And then all of a sudden these people come from the future into this soccer game and it's a big grandiose effect and they're like we need your help we are fighting a war in the future and we are losing and then they start sending troops out to the future to help and the troops start getting absolutely massacred so then they start conscripting people and this is when the logic of the movie immediately goes out the window and they're not even giving them more than a week of training and training is a very broad word they're kind of just sending people into the fucking meat grinder it makes absolutely no sense to send people into the future because who gives a shit <laughs> I, I know it's a bit bleak but i i find this whole concept a little odd we know that that's our future so instead of sending people needlessly into a future and getting absolutely butchered by an enemy that they don't even bother to show during the briefing, there's supposed to be a joke there, but realistically, who the fuck would willingly and psychologically be prepared to go into the future to fight an enemy that they're like, yeah, we decided not to show you it. The best part probably about this movie is that it, when things start to look really, really bleak in the future. In the present day, people kind of don't care about anything. We don't care about school, because what's the point? You'll be dead in 30 years. That knowledge of your mortality is very evident in the present time, but then when Chris Pratt gets conscripted and he goes into the future, which starts off with him falling from like 700 feet from reasons of which they just say it's a glitch, which I don't get it. I, I don't know how he survives the fall anyways. And they land in the future and they start having these engagements with, and I can't believe this is what they're called, the White Spikes. Does that not sound like something from, I don't know, a kid's show? And the biggest issue that you're going to question is, where did these guys come from? And you're not going to find that out until a good ways into the movie. It's a haphazard conversation between uh, Chris Pratt and his wife. The whole movie feels kind of very contrived. I would say the best bits of this movie is the relationship with uh, Chris Pratt and uh, the Bravo commander because they have a special bond. It's passable. Uh, Chris Pratt's kind of very stiff in this movie. It's, it's kind of unfortunate to watch that because you're so used to this guy being the obviously the the lead and uh, kind of like the comedic lead but they kind of reserved him which was a little weird they had his uh, they had this other guy be the comedic relief and he's kind of good but at the same time he's kind of just there as well oh speaking of being just there you know that lady that they kept on showing you in all of the trailers the one who is have on the speech megaphone saying hey we need we're fighting a war in the future and we're losing you think that she has an important part you would be wrong. Literally is that. She she kind of comes up at the end, but she's so haphazardly cast aside that you would have thought that she was just a side character. The action in some of the pieces is okay. It has some interesting kind of, I would say pretty much the middle of the movie is the best part. There's a really decent action scene there. Otherwise, though, I kind of didn't really get into this movie at all. I had I paused it a couple of times because I was just kind of bored. I thought the creatures were kind of interesting, very kind of generic kind of ripoffs of the creatures from Live, Die, Repeat. But this was okay. I, I, I liked how they kind of cackled when they were coming up to uh, the characters. But aside from that, The Tomorrow War has very easily pass-throughable plot holes and uh, logic holes that 
anyone with any sort of knowledge of time travel movies would be like, hey, that's not a good idea. It's very forgettable, it's not that fun, but apparently they are going to maybe make a sequel to this, even though the ending is pretty fucking definitive, but whichever. Anyways, I'm gonna give The Tomorrow War a 2 out of 7. It's... Uh, if you've seen it already, maybe you might understand where I'm coming from, but I just found that this movie just kind of treats you like you're dumb and expects you to kind of just be like, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm a big fan of time travel movies and I like the idea of this movie until like they just threw basic logic right out the window. But what did you guys think? Did you guys like this movie? Let me know in the comments below. But if you liked the video, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.